Bundy's Garage Bundy here. Hey, today we're working on a 2004 Honda Odyssey. Has a uh, J Series 3.5 liter VTEC. Let's see, this is the J Series 35A6. I just want to do a quick uh, flyover on this thing. Some things you need to check on this engine. Right here, that's your PCV valve, 10 millimeter. Pop that thing out. This thing slides directly out, and that's how you uh, change out your PCV valve. Right here on the front, coil packs underneath those are your inject or your spark plugs. Six millimeter hex bolt holds them in. Upper and lower radiator hoses right here. Uh, just to check these real quick, uh, this engine is warm, not hot. But just touch one of the radiator hoses and then touch the other one. You should feel one that's significant, significantly colder than, than the first one. So this top one right here, this one's a lot. Uh, this one's a lot warmer than the lower radiator hose. Uh, that's telling you that the um, radiator is working and the thermostat is functioning. Right here, I'll try to get a shot of it. Right where this second radiator hose connects to. Right here, there's a <clears throat> housing. This is the thermostat housing. There's two bolts that hold that thing on. That's where your thermostat resides, right back there. Good thing to look at, <clears throat> your brake fluid. Make sure your brake fluid is at the proper level. Also, another good thing to do while you're here, go ahead, this is where your air filter sits, driver's side, right behind the uh, battery. Go ahead, there's four uh, bolts. Hold this thing on, two here, one, or one here, one here, one over here, and then one in the back corner. Go ahead, pull that thing out. And then uh, see what the condition of the air filter is. You should be able to hold it up to the sun and see sunlight through it at the pleats. But if you can't, go ahead and replace your air filter. You should probably do that about every 60 to 80,000 miles. I know some of the uh, quick oil change lube places will try to con you into changing your air filter at every oil change. But uh, that's not necessary. They're just trying to make money off of you. And... Uh, Brake fluid flushes and power steering flushes aren't really necessary either unless you're at like 100, 120,000 miles and it's a good idea. Right over here on the passenger side, power steering fluid. Make sure your power steering fluid is at the upper level, which it is on this vehicle. You can see it clearly right there. If it was low or in the middle, just add some to get back to the upper level on the power steering fluid. It's also good practice to only use Honda Power Steering Fluid. There is an additive in there. No, I should say Honda Power Steering Fluid is specifically designed for Honda Power Steering Systems, Honda Steering Systems. If you uh, use other Power Steering Fluid, you have the chance of eating through this rubber hose. Check your belt, your serpentine belt, which is, let me see if I can get a shot of it. Right down there. You can see it right there. Check that, look for any worn areas, cracks. If you haven't changed it in 100,000 miles, go ahead and change it. There's a tool that's specially designed to release the tension on the tensioner. It helps, uh, helps quite a bit when you're getting the, when you're getting the uh, tension off the tensioner to change the belt out. These battery posts have seen better days. You can see some corrosion on the battery terminals so your best bet go ahead take this take these off and uh, clean them off with the battery post cleaner you can pick them pick them up at O'Reilly AutoZone or just a steel wool brush a steel uh, almost looks like a, a toothbrush but it has a steel on the end of it go ahead and clean those up but before you take that off completely make sure you have the code if you have a Honda factory stereo make sure you have the code that will uh, activate the radio again. Another thing to check right here, only do this when the vehicle is cold. Go ahead, pop your um, radiator cap off. Look inside there, make sure that the fluid is almost to the full spot. This, this fluid is good. Another good thing is to look at your radiator cap. Make sure this is all intact. I've seen it where this whole assembly right here is actually gone, just missing, there's no spring. This, this van, this Honda Odyssey, has 134,000 miles on it, so, you know, it's not a bad practice to go ahead and replace this radiator cap with a Honda radiator cap. Go to the dealership, get this. I actually picked one up from O'Reilly. 
a couple years back and I I put it on and after a while <clears throat> it started leaking had a leak when I went back to a Honda cap leak was gone so there are specific tolerances that it's looking for another thing is to check is the uh, reservoir bottle which sits right here there's a high and a low marking when the engine is uh, warm you want it in the middle let me see if I can get down there and take a look at it this uh, reservoir bottle is low so go ahead top it off with um, you can usually use uh, Type 2 Honda blue coolant or uh, O'Reilly sells a green coolant that'll do as well I wanted to show you right here I have a video on this actual problem but uh, it's quite a common occurrence I believe the hood rod prop clip is broken probably has some teeth missing if I turn it yeah there's some teeth missing down there so I actually have a video on this actual fix and I'll show you, I'll put a link in the description below actually show you how to fix this so you don't uh, have the problem with this uh, hood rod coming out on you another thing you want to do when the engine is cold is check your oil so right here I'm pulling out the dipstick so right there you see a cross hatched mark the upper line is where the oil should be when it's cold if it's below that point go ahead add some oil uh, right here on the uh, oil fill plug you see 5w20 so this uh, this engine is calling for 5w20 but as you can see the engine on this uh, vehicle is just a little high but the engine is also a little bit warm so your best bet is to check uh, check the oil and the coolant first thing in the morning after the uh, engine has cooled down completely when it's ice cold so I'll go ahead and stick that in there also another good thing check back here these are all the hoses used in the in the heating system these are coolant hoses there is coolant going through there make sure there's no leaks also right here right back here that's your uh, blend door for the heat, for the hot and cold. So if you're not getting uh, heat for any reason or cold, go ahead and make sure that this cable right there is actually working. I've seen it where this cable breaks, where this stem right here breaks off or this mechanism fails to work correctly, and then you lose all your heat. So, all right, guys, just a quick flyover of the... 3.5 liter J-Series engine. If you have found any of my videos helpful, please consider subscribing to Bundy's Garage on YouTube. Questions, comments, concerns, you can always email me at bundysgarage at gmail.com. And like always, I'll keep them rolling for you.